so what we have going on, what we have going on right now is a discussion around last night's debate. And what I, we, we evolved the debate conversation today on True Social. And so what we did was we didn't, we didn't post a whole lot on LinkedIn. And I don't think I'm going to post as much on LinkedIn. I really was using LinkedIn as a source of information for you as an audience. However, I'm getting more relaxed posting in the sense that I feel the community guidelines offer me more protection because it's an American ran Trump co country. And so I think I might be prepping most of my content and education for him. I get more characters in texting. I get more, I don't really like to post videos anyway over there. And so I will be posting most of my content and that means LinkedIn is going to lose interest. No one's gonna like LinkedIn anymore because it's already boring. And uh, we were going to talk, it's 9-11 on 9-11. And so what I wanted to talk about is the disrespect of the news media in regards to what American Americans believe in and how they're disrupting our lives while they compete within their organized crime group. And you all are participating in it. But it's hard for you to understand. You might actually watch a piece of my content and get angry at my piece of content or relate to the piece of content. However, Rachel Maddow is teaching you how to behave like that. You don't normally act that way or even think that way. And you would never vote for Kamala Harris in your entire life. You've never liked women like that. You've never wanted to hang out with women like that. He is not who they say they are. He's someone that you can talk to and you can trust. And you actually get giddy when you meet him because he's kind of like, he's really funny. And you, and then you, in your mind, if you were in your normal right mind, you would kind of say, well, that was really weird because he's super nice. And then you watch Rachel Maddow because he has information on her. Think about it, folks. Why do they attack someone who literally is telling you, I've, I've shown it to you. I even today went on and, and showed you through Reagan administration how Clinton destroyed the Republican conversation by trying to take Ronald Reagan and act as if he was a Democrat, but he's a Republican and Jimmy Carter ran against Reagan and Reagan won and Jimmy Carter lost. It was two terms of Ronald Reagan and then it was a term of Bush and then it was four years of Bush where we had Desert Storm and then it was two terms of Clinton where Clinton took the information of Reagan and twisted it all around. And then they'll say that that's in misinformation, but Michael Reagan, Ronald Reagan's son, I have proof in a book, his book, a scientifically factual book where Shu Chu will actually consider community guidelinesing what I just said, but I have it in a factual textbook. It's a textbook. That's what's wrong with community guidelines. Sorry that you don't like history, but your opinion of this kindness nonsense is not how this country was built. That's what Kamala Harris wants to recreate by destroying our past and ignoring the past so that we can recreate the past where she decides who is going to suffer. That's Kamala Harris's goal. That's her dream. Those are her desires. I've already experienced her psychosis of narcissism, and it is very, very annoying. And you all are disintegrating who you are as people. 
to support someone because Hillary Clinton told you and tried to hurt your feelings that you turned your back on her. That was a strategic move for the Democratic Party so that you would show loyalty. How sick is that? It's very clear if you're going to you're going to talk only about what somebody else is up to. Mind your own business. That's the mind your own business conversation. Democrats, mind your own business. You don't have business about yourself. You haven't talked about anything that's going to bring value to an audience except for narcissistic abuse. With the assistance of Monavan. While you forget that Joe Biden's the president. That's called communism. Kamala Harris thinks she's the president right now. She's been acting president for some time now, apparently. And they've been handlers, which we've talked about. But why is no one doing anything about this? Is this the greatest uncover of a coup in history? Rachel Maddow? Are we exposing Rachel Maddow? Are we exposing David Muir? And anyone else who's been violating the Constitution against the American people? Are we exposing the Kim Kardashians, the Monavans, and anyone in Hollywood like Mark Ruffalo? While you take sides of the bad people, while you say that democracy is at stake, but you're the criminals. While you try to deteriorate family, while recreating the idea that family is two strange people raising my child on camera while he has great people skills, but poor people skills at the same time because we live in a fear-based society where I can't even take my niece to go have lunch without her freaking out because we're passing by a high school getting out of school. Or we're now at a bad daddy's burger joint where a heavy set butt in the front girl with a bunch of weird people are abusing her, especially the two black girls with the long braids down to her their waist, or the dude with the dreads. And she's only two years old. And that's what this world has come to with the Kamala Harris, the Obama regime, and the open border. It's not safe for those of us who actually stand for democracy because of people like you and the dreads. It's how you know the dreads. We dread seeing you. No respectable human would rat their hair out or braid their hair down to their booty hole. No respectable American would disrespect their fellow American and take the side of an Indian or a Pakistani man because they got a free paycheck. And all respectable, respectable Americans pay their rent on time, Jackie. You all are nothing but slime balls. And you won't admit it. And you want a free handout because COVID gave you a free handout. You got lazy because Joe Biden took office and you lost the luster of life. And instead, you got the lust of Mona Van's JJ. And that's what you all want for yourselves. You want joy and happiness and this facade of existence. So that children on the levels are autistic because they are unclear of being safe because they're not being protected by anyone, including number blocks. It's the reality of what we're dealing with in the real world, folks. While Mona Van tells you, I'm at the U.S. Open and Taylor Swift is here too. Thanks, Thanks, Tay-Tay. We're so excited, Mona Van, with your bullshit content. 
while she abuses my niece.